Have you seen that new Revlon blowout curls? I'm thinking about changing my look. Yeah, blowout curls are super popular right now. You see them all over the place. I know, I've seen the TikToks, but does it actually work? You mean does it actually give great blowout curls? Because I've never used it. I have no idea. Okay, I see what, where did this box come from? This is so weird. Where did you get that? Did you bring it in just so I test it for you? Can we please? I need to know if this is my new look. Fine, but we can't do it right now because we need a model to test it on. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Wait, yes I did. There's a model right over there. Let's go do it. If you don't know me, my name is Chris. I own a hair salon called Live Love Locks where we test out products and bring the best ones to you. I make these videos because way too many people struggle with their hair and I don't want you to be one of them. All right, so if you don't remember, the original Revlon One Step blow dry brush changed hair forever even though it wasn't perfect. If you have a blow dry brush, it's because the Revlon One Step started a revolution and made it so easy to have salon quality hair at home that now almost everyone has a blow dry brush. So if Revlon found a way to make it as easy to get blowout curls as it is to use a blow dry brush, that's huge news and hair is about to get way easier. But we need to see if it actually works because the dirty little secret of the hair industry is that most tools and most products don't actually do what they say they do. That's why today we aren't bringing in any professional hair models or anything like that. The models in my videos are always normal people. We literally post on my Instagram to say, hey, who wants to be a model in my latest YouTube video? That's because we don't want someone with perfect hair. We don't want a hair model. We don't want a hair YouTuber because that would ruin the entire test. The hair industry pays these women to make videos of them using their products because they know that no matter what, the hair is still gonna look amazing, even if the tool is terrible. And the most insidious part of all of this is when you get one of those bad tools, you think that it's your fault. You think you're doing something wrong and you're not good at hair. And I'm here to tell you that it's actually really easy to have good hair. If you're able to navigate the minefield of false advertising and skip straight to the products that actually do work. Okay, so what's going on here? How are we going to test this thing? The instructions say that you use this attachment on your roots, and then once the roots are dry, you go in with this iron looking attachment to get the curl on the length of your hair. It looks really easy. Are you sure we even need to test this? You were the one who wanted to do this test, and yeah, people need to know if this is good or bad because a lot of people are thinking about buying it. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. Let's give this thing a shot. We're gonna stick to the exact way they do it in this video because that's how they say it's meant to be used. First, we're showing the model the instructional video of the look that we're trying to recreate. But I don't wanna throw the model into the deep end right away, so I'm gonna do a few myself to kind of show her how it works, let her get comfortable, plus, we didn't bring in this model to make her do her own hair. And one of the first things we notice is that this attachment for the roots is not giving us good results at all. We're supposed to use it to dry the root area, but there's a very good reason blow dryers are not shaped like this. You are blowing hair all over the place. Are you sure you actually know what you're doing? Well, to do a good job on the roots, you need to get tension, but there's no good way to get tension with this attachment. I'm trying to pull it straight, but it's not working out. Whatever, I don't care about the roots. Just show me how to get the curls. Now we're gonna use the curl attachment. You're supposed to put the hair on the barrel and start rolling it up towards your head. You can probably see we're having some huge issues right now. There's air coming out of every edge of this tool. So as I'm rolling the barrel up, it's blowing hair away so it doesn't actually get into the curl. And all of this hair that's getting blown around and dried in really weird directions is gonna come out absolutely terribly. That does not look right. Let's check the video again and make sure you're actually doing it right. They're doing the exact same thing. They're rolling up the barrel just like I did. Okay, but why isn't theirs blowing all around like ours is? It doesn't make sense. I have no idea. This video is weird. They keep cutting to different shots and they don't show the full thing, so I'm not 100% sure what they're doing. Well, give it a shot. You're supposed to be good at hair, so show me some of them blowout curls. I'm trying, but this thing isn't making it easy. Let's see how this one turns out. Absolutely terrible. At this point, I'm getting the feeling that the model wants to try. So at the risk of getting upstaged in my own salon, I hand it to her and hopefully she can do better than I can. And at this point, she's doing a really great job. She's keeping the hair under plenty of tension. She clearly knows what she's doing, but the Revlon just isn't having it. Her hair is blowing everywhere. If that was a real curling iron, she would have had a really nice curl right there, but it's not a real curling iron. And even though she did a good job, it's not turning out very well. All right, so I have an idea. I'm gonna give it another shot, except this time, instead of using the root attachment, I'm gonna actually use a regular blow dryer. And then we'll use the Revlon to do the curls, since the curls are really all we care about. I'm also gonna try something else different. I'm not gonna roll it up like I say in the instructions. I'm actually gonna use an old iron technique 
and see how that turns out. And it actually comes out okay. That's probably one of the best that we've gotten so far. I do this a few more times and actually get some pretty decent curls. But the thing is, this is not gonna work for somebody at home. If you're not really good at curls already, this isn't really an option for you. I'm gonna make a nail appointment, please, for the love of God, have some good blowout curls for me when I get back. All right, so we're finally able to figure it out and here's what we got. Wait, how did you, do, this isn't what I asked for. You're supposed to use the Revlon to get those curls. We did it the exact same way that they got it in the instructional video. No, you didn't. I'm not dumb. I saw what you were doing. You didn't use the Revlon to get those curls. Exactly. And if you look closer at the video, they didn't use the Revlon either. What are you talking about? You better not be messing with me. You can see in the video, they're rolling the barrel up, but if you look at the hair, it's completely still. It's not being blown around at all. And that's because the Revlon isn't even on. Wait a second, that hair isn't blowing around at all. What kind of shenanigans are they trying to pull here? The model's pretending to use a Revlon. She's going through the motions, but it isn't even on. That's why the hair is completely still. And they split it into three different screens so you don't notice. And you can see the exact same thing in the root attachment. She's going through the motion, but none of the hair is moving. That thing's not even on. She's just pretending to use it. I think they probably tried to film this with the Revlon, but then they got the exact same terrible results that we got. So they were like, hey, we're getting paid a lot of money to make this product look good. And the only way to make it look good is to make it seem like the model is using it when she really isn't. And I hate to be the one to say it, but I don't think these curls are from the Revlon. And how could you possibly know that? That's quite the accusation, you know. Because they messed up. This curl is going towards her face. And if you look at the after shots, it's going away from her face and has a different shape. Oh my God, that's not even the same curl. How could they do that to us? It looks like they went in with a regular iron for all the after shots to make it look good. But if this thing is so terrible, how does it have four stars on Amazon? It doesn't make sense. Almost all the reviews are for the Amazon Vine program. Basically, they send you free products in exchange for reviews. But the problem is when you get a free product, you're not that upset when it's not very good because you didn't spend any money on it. And number two, you're probably afraid that if you give anything a bad review, they'll stop sending you free products. But you can see here, there are a few reviews who didn't get it for free that rated it for four stars. And if you look at what they wrote, they had the exact same same trouble that we did, they probably just accidentally hit four stars instead of what they meant to. I find it really hard to believe that on all of Amazon, there's only 28 people who reviewed this. It looks a lot more like they got rid of the bad reviews and they didn't catch the four star reviews that were critical because there were four stars. What is going on here? This is completely insane. They didn't use their own product in their commercial and now they're skewing the reviews? Totally normal for there to be a little bit of shenanigans, but I had no idea it was gonna be this bad. Well, I'm sorry if I got a little bit intense today. I just really wanted to see the blowout curls. So what do you want to do with your hair today? Get some blowout curls? Oh no, I hate blowout curls. Just use the iron like you did on the model. 